welcome to another GeoDev video. Today, let's go ahead and talk about how you can build an application with the ArcGIS API for JavaScript using React as your component library to build your UI. All right, so first of all, we're going to go ahead and create a module that is only going to handle loading our map and our map view. So in this module, we're going to go ahead and load our map. And then we're going to go ahead and create our map view. But as you can see here, when we create the map view, we're not going to attach it to a container. So it won't be displayed right away. What we're going to do is we're going to create this function called initialize. And in this function is where we're going to pass it a DOM element called container. And then we're going to attach that element to our map view. And we're going to get that element from the React component that we're going to write. Here's the React component that we're going to write for application. And we're going to use some new features of React called hooks. Hooks aren't finalized yet, but they'll be available in React in early 2019. In our case, we're going to use the use effect hook and the use ref hook. And I'll show how those work in a second. So we're going to create a function called webmap, and this is going to be out of the component that we're going to use for our app. Then we're going to create this element ref using the use ref hook. So useRef is going to create an object that will exist for the entire lifetime of our component. And in this case, we're going to use it to hold the DOM element that the React component is going to create. Then we're going to go ahead and use the useEffect hook to do something. Uh, this is where you would do any kind of side effects inside of your React component. If you've worked with React before, this is very similar to where you would do stuff in the React lifecycle methods. So in the use effect hook, we're going to go ahead and dynamically import the module that handles all the loading of the map and the map view. And if you remember, that module also has an initialize method that we're going to pass the uh, element ref .current, which is going to be the container for our React component. So we pass that to the initialize method, and it'll attach it to the map view, and then we'll be able to see our map on the screen. There's also some other stuff uh, happening here for cleanup. There is a, um, uh, a way to do uh, cleanup of these side effects inside these hooks. I'll let you read the documentation hooks for more details on that. And then finally, down here, we are just going to return the JSX for our React component. And it's in this React component that we go ahead and refer to the uh, element ref as the ref property of the JSX here. Now, if you run this application, you should get a web page that looks like this with our map loaded inside the React component that we went ahead and created. And we've barely touched the surface of things that you can do with uh, React and the JavaScript API to build really powerful applications uh, composed of multiple components. So I highly suggest that you try React out, give it a shot to build some really great apps. Thank you.